All right, what's going on, guys? Today, we're gonna put some winches on some military Humvees. This is what it looks like. But um, I'm recording this as I'm recording the end of the engine video. I was actually sick for a couple days. So I was out of work. So right now I'm finishing up that video because the engine is almost in. And I'm gonna be doing this while some people finish up that project. So yeah. If you guys are enjoying these videos, we post every other day. Um, if you like to watch them, please subscribe or consider. And comment down below what else you guys want to see in the videos. And like if you enjoyed the video. These are the winches. Yep. The video. Yeah. Excited for this video. Oh. Uh, Using the tanker bar to open this. <laughs> what? Can anybody ask you about your gonorrhea? No. That's crazy. Uh, one of them needs an oil filter housing or something, uh, and then three of them are getting winches. Bravo 1-3 needs an oil filter housing. That one, you know, you need the winches, right? Work on that? I mean, whoever the fuck, I mean, it don't matter. Transmission. Need... All right, so this is uh, what it come, comes in, in the box, the wiring. Um, I'm not sure what it's gonna plug into, if there is a harness or something. Um, but these are for the hydraulic lines, which looks like it just goes into the hydro booster, which is, Sounds like it's really easy to hook up, but this was gonna go right here. That sits in there, and hopefully this goes well. Because we had some come in before and it weren't the right size, and these look like they're the right size. So hopefully it goes well. This is everything I came with. So strap, some shackles. This is the to operate it, this looks like a hook, and then there's the wires, and then this is for the hydraulic wood, and then there's a whole bunch of just different hardware, because it goes through the control arm. I don't know what this is. Uh, it's, a, it's a safety sticker, it says like hazard caution. Oh, that's sick. Hey man. Oh, bro. Feeling better? Yeah, bro. Hey, man. Oh, y'all in my face, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you want to be in the... You, you don't want to be in the video? Hey! <laughs> and so, got these off. It's two bolts. Right here. Oh, that's, on, that's on that side. And these two, take the shackles off. Get to this, and then we can get to this one, these two, and then this whole thing should come down. I don't think there's anything in the back holding on to it. I have to check. Yeah, maybe those three. But for now, just these two, and then we'll go from there. So. Does it tuck up in there? Where's it going? All you're going to see is that front third. Oh, I see it. Oh. What you guys got going on over here? I don't have a 15, 16, 3 8 socket. So I can't use the Milwaukee. Even though it probably would take it off. Can't use it on these three sad face so gotta find a different impact or i'm gonna have to start asking people if they have it all right i got a 24 millimeter socket for the 3 h drive which will fit the milwaukee so we will be using that but we're just figuring out how we're gonna grab the heads or the nuts 
um, up in there because they're a little difficult. You gotta go under here or through here. So, figuring it out. All right, we got this side off. Um, this side was a little bit harder than this side. Um, this is the new one, but this side sucked because of the lower radiator hose. So we just had to uh, use a wrench on the top one. But these two, I was able to get a uh, this my Milwaukee on. And yeah, that's it. So these new bolts, the zinc plated. And these are the old bolts. They're like steel or something. So yeah, get all going on. All right, so just got the two bolts on the caliper disconnected. And right now we're going to be getting this bolt out so we can put the new one in. And we're gonna put it in this way so it can line up. up? Right here, what's up? Whatever you got, one million view. Yeah, I'll also do a check. <laughs> Alright, so we're trying to take off these two bolts. We got this one broken loose. This one's a little bit on there more. Um, this is a little bit a um, little bit jiggy. So we're not doing all that we can with it. But this is uh getting a lot a lot of can't can't get it off, so my IOTV touched me. Oh, you want, did you, did you, what did you do? So I was just saying, he said that if you had no to do it, he was not in charge. Oh, no, that's like, I'll fucking repeat it. All right, all right, I'll push it over here. He said that if there's a little bit of oil, it's not. Okay, ratchet. I can't even turn that with my wrist. <laughs> yeah, that was, that was All right. Taking like chunks of the tire. I think it should be good. Oh my god. <laughs> I hit my face on this earlier. Oh, did you? Is yeah. that why it's broken? Yeah. <laughs> Where'd that ratchet go? Bro, that is the ratchet. That one. If it goes in more, just watch her. That way you don't rip the goddamn fucking nipple off the couch. Don't you just love when the slightest uh, Not here. inconvenience happens at work? Fuck you, I'm getting drunk tonight. It's just an excuse. <laughs> Let me have the other one. Uh, no, no. The other one? Ah! Almost fell. It, it doesn't fit in the back. Oh, it does? Oh, wait, what is that last one for?
Just put the caliper on. Focus. Copy that. <laughs> Which one is going here? Oh, uh, four ones. ones. So Wait. it's a uh, fucking the zinc plated ones. Yeah. Let me have three. Wait, these are? No, this? no, no. I mean that's the old ones. So it comes with new ones. So. All right. So these are the lines. The hydraulic fluid. Going to this. Right now they're putting on the outer bracket for the uh, thing. for half an hour. Oh yeah, dude, that one. Where's that other thing? I think he's in the front. He's crying in the ESF. <laughs> 